So we're back at the cabin at Rabbit Point and uh, today I'm going to finish cutting up this windfall. There it was. I started this about a month ago on a cold stormy day and I was trying to film it but the camera kept quitting, freezing up so I'm going to get these slabbed up today and I thought I'll make a little video about it of it. Always windfalls here. All these big spruce trees. There's always a couple blow down every year. So instead of just wasting them, I thought I'd make a little Alaskan type mill for my saw and saw them up. So I'll get these drugged down there by the cabin and show you what I'm up to. Well, I got them drugged down here. I really wouldn't consider the 440 much of a skitter, but I got these two down here. This one's eight feet. And I'm not sure what that one is. I think I just cut it off where a bunch of limbs started. So here's the slabs I made out of the first eight foot piece. And I cut it down. Not bad looking slabs. There's a all right job sawing. So I got four of them out of the first hog. So we'll see what we get out of the rest of them. And here's my little contraption over here that I made. Got a 24 inch bar I keep on it. And got the depth setters there. How uh, thick of plank you want to make. When I first made it, I only had it made up to here for a 16 inch bar, but when I did that, when I first started using it, it twisted on me because I only had it clamped here and it twisted. And those bolts. Here hit the chain and it wasn't too pretty so I bought a 24 inch bar and extended it so it works all right now so I'll get this put on the saw and we'll start sawing up some slabs okay so I got my contraption on the saw I saw two inch thick slabs I've got it set for two inch Got a starter board on the log screwed on. So it seems fairly straight. Won't be perfect, but I'm not gonna do anything too special with these anyway, so they're a little off, it's alright. Just in case I need some boards around the camp sometime. So we'll get the saw started up and start sawing away. Okay, so I started sawing and I figured I wasn't taking enough of a slab off. So I stopped and I set this to three inches now to get an extra inch off there. So we'll start it up and give it a try again.
<laughs> Man, is that ever bold and twisted? Shit. Oh. I don't look too good. One by six isn't that good for a guide board. Off. Okay, so the way it's so bold and twisted, I guess I'll roll it on its roll it over and start from the other side. I hate to do that, but I don't mind it being a little off. Holy crap, this is a lot off. So, back to the drawing board. Well, after some thinking there, I uh, decided to, all my 1x6s I have are really twisted. I didn't notice that before. I don't know how these other ones I made the first time actually turned out not bad. So I took one of them and screwed it on top there because it is straighter than... The other ones that I have board, so we'll give this a try. Let's see how much that was out here. Like it was, I don't mind it being a little off, but it was crazy off. Probably an inch twist I had in it. So, we'll give this a try and see how it looks. And if it's not good, well, we'll just call it a day at doing this. Too bad I wanted a few more slabs around. I'll give this a try. I saw it off, it's broken off, but you can see that end is about an inch thick, and up here it's next to nothing. Yeah, it was about an inch of twist, that's what I figured. And if you look at it now, it's not perfect, of course, but it's a lot better than what it was. So, I think I should get. Probably three two inch slabs off of here. So I'm gonna get busy doing that and show you when I'm done finished. Alright, so I got three slabs sawed up out of that eight foot log. They're uh, fairly straight. Nice and wide. There's the last bit that's left. Just a couple inches thick there. Kind of too bad I took so much off the first time and buggered things up. I might have got four. I don't think I'm doing that one today. It's already seven o'clock, so get stuff put away. I just listen to the weather and we're supposed to get about 10 centimeters of snow tonight and tomorrow. Good weather for April. Yeah, beautiful night, beautiful evening. <laughs> 